Welcome back, friends. I am here with yet another amazing community member, business owner in the Durham area, and I cannot wait for you to meet Matthias Payton of Jasper and Gold. He has a business that is near and dear to my heart. Why don't you say hello and tell us a little bit about what your business is. Yeah, so hey everybody, as you said, uh, my name is Matthias. I run a business called Jasper and Gold and I make herbal infusions, which is a little bit different than a tea business because I take tea and I mix it with culinary ingredients for the purpose of promoting health. That is amazing. What got you interested in this? It started when I was looking for more holistic beverages and a friend of mine said I should drink more tea, but there wasn't a lot of uh, holistic teas on the, in the market in Durham back during that time. But there wasn't any tea shops either during that time. So I just went home and started making my own infusions and people started, became aware that I was doing that. So they asked me to make them stuff. And over time, I started making more blends, doing a lot of research and whatnot. So just kind of turned into a fun hobby that turned into a business. I love it. So you're getting to do what you love as yeah. a business. Yeah. I ask everyone, number one, what is one myth people have about the whole business? That's a really good question. So tea actually is just comes from the tea plant and a lot of people call everything tea. So they might say chamomile tea or peppermint tea, thinking that tea is the uh, the liquid part of the herb, but tea is actually the liquid part of the tea plant specifically. So any other plant is not considered tea. I love it. I love that you pointed that out because it is truth. Like rooibos is not the red tea. That mm -hmm. comes from a red bush in South Africa. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly and like it's that. It's the alternifolia tree. You have to have the tea plant. Two terms that you use in your herbal infusion business. Right, so actually the name herbal infusion is a, both of those two terms might be two major terms that people are like, I don't even know what this guy just said. So um, infusion is really is the beverage that you get from any ingredients, any type of water, I mean, any type of plant, whether that be culinary ingredients or medicinal herbs, and it can be brewed in water or oil or whatever for some type of health benefit. So uh, the combination of herbal and infusion is um, a term that I typically use to let people know that I'm making a medicinal beverage that's kind of like tea, but not tea. That's flavorful, but it, you won't automatically think that it's, it's tea if I use those terms, just to let people know I'm doing something a little bit different, but it's still related or connected to the tea field. What so. are some culinary ingredients that you use? So typical things like chocolate, peppermint, uh, Well, cinnamon. I'm loving this. Right, a lot, of, a lot of good stuff that you probably have at home, peppermint, nutmeg, cloves. Uh, I might blend with some of my ingredients to make like chives or uh, hot chocolate tea beverages or lemongrass mint is one of my other favorites here. So it's lemongrass, spearmint, basil, parsley, ginger. So a lot of things that we have at home already, uh, I typically tend to use to let people know you, you can have beverages from things that you know of. It's not some foreign ingredient that you've never seen or heard before. It's something that might be right in your backyard or in your house. Do you recommend different uh, drinks for different purposes? Uh, yes and no. Yes, because I think depending on the beverage or the ingredients, you will definitely get those benefits. But I say no because almost every ingredient, every culinary ingredient or medicinal herb, they all have benefits. So if you just drink any tea or any herbal infusion, then you'll reap the benefits of it. So I would say just drink more tea, drink, drink more herbal infusions, and then you'll, you'll be fine. What are three tips? that you would recommend to people that are interested in your herbal infusions? So tip one, I would say, if you were to go to my website, find something that's similar to what you already drink. Don't jump into, oh, I'm gonna go on this healthy diet and then cut from doing everything to doing something else because that won't be sustainable for you. So likely, if you love hot chocolate or if you love coffee, just get like a chocolate beverage something similar to what you already drink. Tip two, 
Uh, steep time for tea is really important or for any for any beverage so if you steep it for too long or too short you might not like the way it tastes uh, that's the same thing with the temperature the temperature also matters so typically I always get a temperature control kettle and put it to the exact temperature that it says or that's recommended and do it for the time that's needed in order to get all the flavor and the health benefits from your, from your beverage. And do you have some kind of information that tells people what temperature and how long to steep? Yeah, on all of my packs, I have the steep time and the temperature. So if you have a kettle at home or if you don't and you're just boiling a pot of water, the bubbles will let you know how hot the water is. So if it says something like 200 degrees, that's closer to boiling point. If it's like 170 or 160 degrees, bring it to a boil and let it wait and wait for maybe 30 seconds, 30 or 40 seconds or so. What do you love about Durham and how long have you been here? I've actually been in Durham for about 20 years. My family moved here about when I was still in elementary school from another area of North Carolina. And I really love the culture, the art, uh, the friends, the family, the, just the community is really um, close and inviting here. So, so I really enjoy that about there. That's great. I, I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. I haven't been here that long, but it feels like home. Yeah, yeah. And what do you think about the expression, keep it dirty derm? <laughs> That's a funny one. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one. Derm is really colorful, uh, but we can be also really flavorful at the same time. <laughs> Again, this is Matthias Payton of Jasper and Gold, and he is the person that you need to reach out to and find. So tell us how they can reach out to you or where you can yeah, find yeah. their website. So my website is simple as jasperandgold.com, all one word. You can also find me through Instagram and or Facebook by typing in Mia, M-I-A, Jasper, J-A-S-P-E gold G-O-L-D um, or you can email me at the same Mia Jasper gold at gmail.com if you want to get in contact with me I love it yeah thanks and thanks again this is Dia Irby your favorite realtor by your side all the way until next time <laughs> Bye.